Hi, Steve. Uh, my name is Alex. Thank you for the email um, regarding on, on the question, what we can do for you. I'm taking the liberty to create this video so I can show you the potential that your website has. Um, what in you know realistic uh, terms you can achieve and who's your competition and you know why are they ranking and what what is the benefit of uh, you know the benefits of ranking um, for specific keywords so I'm going to be talking about your website of course I'm going to be talking about content uh, keywords and backlinks and how that play how all that plays play together and you know will help your business um, get the exposure that it needs. Um, and by the end of the video, I'll explain a little bit more of um, specific services um, that uh, we provide and that uh, you might be interested. But uh, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to try to make this short as much as I can with all the details um, as much as possible. So first things first, I have your website here. And um, I'm going to give it credit, right? It's a nice layout, a nice design. Um, and you have content, right? But what I'm seeing here is um, not too much content. And that's the first thing that you have to take in consideration if you want Google to take you seriously so you can rank, so you can appear, uh, appear on searches. So um, the concept about content is all this that is readable, all these texts. So when you add content, you got to make sure that you add keywords. For example, landscape in New Jersey, landscape in New York, depending on the areas. I see that you um, over Rockland, uh, Rockland County. So something like that should be included here, but not, not, in, not in this way in specific because I don't think you're getting any, <laughs> any notice, uh, any not being noticed by this, uh, for example, in, in New Jersey at least. So um, when you add content, like I said, you got to make sure that you add keywords and you got to make sure that the content surrounding that keyword has to be relevant and it has to be original. That's the first thing that Google is going to track, it's going gonna, it's gonna to read. And if the content makes sense, you know, they're going to they're gonna understand that you are targeting that specific uh, keyword. Um, that's for one thing. Um, so on the homepage, my suggestion is to have at least at least 2,500 uh, words of content, of course, with images and all that, you know, all the fun stuff. Um, why is that important? Because Google is looking for information. The more information, the more real information that you have, the better and for the eyes of, of Google. Now, um, I use this tool called Apex, and what this does, it picks data from your website based on Google criteria. I actually think they're partners. Um, so I can see here that you're being found for 75 um, keywords um, and you have two for 241 backlinks. Now, what are backlinks? Backlinks are other websites that are mentioned in your site or your business name, and this will give you power so you, you can be found on Google. Think about like a popularity contest. I always say this. The more people you can talk about you in a positive way, the more relevant you're gonna become, the more relevant you're gonna stay. Same thing happens here with backlinks. Uh, with the difference, of course, that not all links are created equal. So you can have hundreds, like right here, um, seeing that you have 241 backlinks. But if they're not good quality, if, that, if they're not targeting the keywords that you should be um, pointing on your on your website, you're not going to see any good results. <clears throat> and I can see here, that even if you have 241, um, your rating is pretty low. So uh, you got to keep an eye on that, on, on what uh, quality of links you're getting, what websites are talking about you. So that being said, let's see what keywords are you being found for based on the content that your website has and based on the based on the backlinks that are supporting your credibility um, on the on Google on Google searches. So you're ranking for uh, your business name, Steve's Lawn Service, um, which is good. But here's the thing: you can rank on Google number one, but if this not bringing bring you any customers, any clients, you're not selling anything, what's the point? Um, so just to think about that. Um, Steve's Lawn um, Garden, there's 70 searches a month, you're ranking around seven position and you're getting around uh, three visits a month to your uh, website. Um, but then I don't see anything relevant here, like, okay, landscape companies, New York. There's 40 searches a month. Uh, you're going to be running Google Ads. This is the average uh, pay per click or cost per click. And because you're almost on the fourth, fifth page, 
no traffic at all. And again, uh, we can see here Stoneworks in J. 20 searches a month. Um, this number over here, the KD is the difficulty of the keyword. It basically tells you how long it's going to take you to rank to show on Google based on the difficulty. So anything from zero to, I'll say, probably six, seven, it will take you uh, six months uh, at least to, to start ranking. Uh, so that's also something to keep in mind. But again, I don't see anything uh, relevant here. Um, landscape in New York City, uh, there's 800 searches a month, but you're almost on the seven, eighth page, so or seventy first position, if you will. Um, again, nothing is nothing relevant you see in here. So if I go to Google and type uh, landscape in New Jersey, for example, the first thing you're going to see here is the traditional Google Ads. Um, you got to be really careful if you want to go this route because even though Google makes it look uh, really nice and simple to set up, you can end up spending a lot of money and not getting quality leads. Uh, you can end up spending a lot of money because somebody decided to click on your ad uh, multiple times and, you know, you get charged. So very, very um, um, interesting um, Google Ads. Um, if you want to see quick turnover to, you know, uh, results, uh, this is the way, but you got to be really careful because this is whole thing on the, you know, behind the scenes that you should pay attention. Um, then you have your map section. And if you have a Google profile, um, business profile, you could definitely be here. Def this will be based on your popularity. Um, so um, the content that your profile, that your profile should have has to be relevant. The images, again, they have to be original images if possible. And reviews. If you get reviews, reply to those reviews because that's one of the things that Google always is looking that interaction between customer and provider, service provider. And then we have on the organic results. On number one, we have these guys: Scenic uh, Landscaping. Number two, uh, this house. I think it was um, somehow um, linked to Angie's and uh, Home Advice. Anyway. On number three, which is uh, this Jersey landscaping, and you get the idea, right? Um, by the end of the page, you see this and another search. They used to have pages uh, separated, but now it's just a whole scroll down. Anyway, um, this is where you want to be. This is where you want to start ranking because 70% of the searches uh, on Google, they only go for the top uh, results, top three here, top three here, sometimes, you know, this also depends on how you attract the, the searches of the, of the person's um, attention. But this is very important, 70%. That means that, you know, seven out of, of 10, they don't scroll down all the way. So, um, and I don't see you trying to rank for this specific keyword, for example. But if, you, if you're if you gonna see why these guys are ranking number, number one, let's go take a look at their website. Um, so you go here, there you go. So, they have a nice design as well, but they have more content than you do. They have content here. They have content here. Uh, see, that's how they, they target a specific keyword. This is how they're supposed to tar uh, target um, keywords on, uh, on the heading and then on the on the text that surrounds. And you can see that they have more, more, more content than you do. So that's one of, one of the reasons. And the other reason, let's take a look and see um how many keywords they've been found for so they've been found for over uh, 1200 keywords um that's quite a lot and they have over 3000 backends and this is pretty high but again um it means that they they've been putting a lot of uh a, a lot of investment in in, in their campaign if we're going to find uh, see the keywords that they've been found for let's see landscape in new jersey okay so there's over around 1,000 searches a month. And because of ranking number one, they're getting over 363, let's run it up, 300 uh, visits a month just for one keyword. That means, if you ask me, those are 300, 300 chances that they get to have clients every month. Same thing here in J Landscaping, another 1,000 searches a month because they're ranking number one, another 300, but now it's not only 300 here, you, are, you do the math, right? So over 700 here, uh, visits in just two keywords. In, you get 
you can see that they did the, the research, they did homework. Um, NJ Landscape, a thousand searches a month, but you can see that these are really difficult keywords to target, and it's gonna take a long time. Um, it's in landscaping, business name, if you will. Um, same thing, but the thing is that if you wanna target keywords, you gotta make sure that you're targeting within your area, like this, landscaping company in J, um, landscaping uh, in New Jersey, things like that. Because if you target something like this, uh, scenic landscaping, somebody from California could be you know, landing on your website, what's the point? Um, I mean, in the specifics uh, like this. So you get the idea, that's how they're getting a lot of visitors to their website. Um, that's what they're ranking number one. And yeah, that could be definitely you. That could be um, definitely, definitely be um, what we can offer. Um, we can do a, uh, an extent deep um, the research and see, you know, what keywords exactly are being trending right now. Uh, the forecast for that as well. Uh, the volume search. And in specific of what can we do, we provide everything. We, from web design to um, data analysts, um, see how many people are looking for your services, and then uh, we can provide um, interaction with your website, make, have some um, submit form that is gonna be uh, interactive, powered by AI, if you will. Uh, so you don't have to do anything. Everything's going to be automated, and you just got to check and reply to all requests. That'll be pretty much it. Um, if you have two phone numbers, like you see that I see here, uh, you should have, I believe, uh, if not, um, some sort of tracking numbers, right? So you see how many people call you uh, to those specific numbers, and you can see the trend on where are you being more visible or more accepted. Uh, if that is the case, um, with all this data um, that we can uh, structure for your website. Anyway, um, I hope you find this information useful. Um, if any questions, please let me know. I'll be sending you um, an email with this and also a text message just in case. Uh, once again, my name is Alex, and um, thank you for uh, your email.